Hi everybody, I'm Gary Neal and I'm um, a Fisher, an uh, ex-teacher from Fisher Primary School and I'm living with this great. And I'm going to tell you about uh, how to make a collaborative e-book. This is something that I have tried and it worked really well. You might need the mic up here. Sorry, thank you. Um, now, first of all, you have this site called iEtherPad, and you open that, and you get a pad like this. Now, I think 10 or more people can write on this at the same time, but what happens is you're given a code. So, you get the kids writing, and then you um, send these codes to the next school or person in this form. Well, this is what, how I did it. So the next school that you've arranged with the teacher um, distributes these, they all open their codes and they carry on writing. Does this not work? Oh, yay. Okay, when the original stories come back, the, when the stories come back, the original learner edits it, adds illustrations, and um, puts it into PowerPoint. And then and it looks like that. PowerPoint's my favorite program for writing stories. Now, you, this is possible programs to use for illustrations. MS Paint, Bing Images for pictures, any illustration program you might have, but we use StoryMaker too. So each learner then um, reads his or her story into their PowerPoint. And then you can upload these to a free site called slideboom.com which gives you an embed code so that you can put it in a block. This is what the story could sound and look like. The Tooth Fairy by Kirsten de Plessis. Part 1. The Loose Tooth One day, a little girl was playing in the garden. Her name was Taylor, and she was playing with her cousin Kirsty. You see, Taylor had a wiggly tooth, and it was really bothering her a lot. All of a sudden, pop! Out came the wiggly tooth. Thank you.